when you're presenting, when somebody's in front of you, when you're doing your whole presentation with them, always write it out. Make sure you have brochures that are printed out. But even though brochures are printed out, I still have my yellow pad in front of me and I write down all the information. So doctor, look, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna make, we're gonna provide you with a 24 hour care nursing. You can write all that out, sign it in the bottom, put your phone number, put a smiley face and hand it to them with the brochures. By you writing it out, it makes them feel confident. It's like you writing a contract. Always ask to buy, meaning always ask them to use your product. Always ask them for a referral. Always be closing. ABCs, always be closing. You should have between 5 to 12 closes. Why 5 to 12 closes? You probably heard me say it takes 5 to 12 you know, attempts before you get a yes. <coughs> that means people said no 5 to 12 times before they actually say yes to start using your services and product. The closing techniques, the closing scripts that we add to our presentations, the reason for that is to be able to find out what's their no right now and convert it to a yes. Even if you get a no, always ask again. Keep on asking. Don't be scared. Change the words. This is like a trial. And you as a lawyer is asking the same questions but in different ways. Always introduce a third party. When we're marketing, your home health marketer, your liaison, is not the only person that's going to be caring for that physician, that referral source. You're going to have a team in the office. I have a printout of everybody that works in the office, including the DON, the administrator, with their face, a little bio about them, who they are. And I'd say, doctor, these are the people that's going to be backing you up and taking care of helping you out at the office. And by the way, here's a couple pictures of our nurses who are in this area where more, your, more of your patients are or most of your patients are. And by the way, doctor, this is the menu of our services right now that we're offering and the additional items that makes us stand out. Don't forget to always ask why. What made you choose that? Why did you choose their agency, doctor? Doctor, why did you become a physician? I would love to know more about you. And always ask why not. Why not use our services? Why not make a decision now? Why not do the right thing for your mom? Why not do the right thing for your patients and start using our services because it's the right thing to do? When you're presenting, once again, here's a six. Always write, always ask to buy or use your service. Always ask again, always introduce a third party. Always ask why, always ask why not. It should always be in your presentation. It should be generated within the whole presentation that you're offering them. Have you ever had someone present to you and never asked for the sale? Never asked, you know, or they'll say literally something like, you know, they're going to email you the quote. Whether, you know, you went to go purchase a new TV or you went ahead and you wanted to research something online. Has anybody ever created a presentation to you and never asked for the sale or said, I will email you the quote? The reason why I ask this, okay, is because it happens all the time that we do a presentation and then all of a sudden we wait till the last minute and say, would you want to refer to us? Or don't even ask for that referral. We forget to do it. We go home and we say, you know what? I'm going to call them tomorrow to follow up. But you never follow up to ask for the referral. What if you change things up? What if you ask for the referral in the beginning, in the middle, in the end? And then follow up with additional follow up with beautiful educational based marketing material that keeps on asking for referrals in different ways, in different techniques. We have to understand that closing is the ultimate thing. Closing is what means a successful business and an unsuccessful business that's closing down. If you cannot close the deal and get referrals, they may like you. They may say you're a great presenter. But until they start referring patients to you, it's nothing. It's a quick high and buy relationship. So there's several things that prevents people from closing. And here they are. Here are the eight items that prevents a person to be able to successfully get that referral. Number one, you never even ask for a referral. Remember? 
That's where the closing technique is. Minimum five. Okay? You should be asking for closing in the beginning, in between, in the end. Okay? And you should be asking for closing right smack in the middle of between the beginning and the middle and between the middle and the end. All right? That guarantees five of them. Minimum. And then having your follow-up. Number two, not liking to deal with emotions. It's going to get emotional out there, guys. There's going to be people telling you that, Michael, you're pressuring us too much. Michael, we don't need your services. Get out. We don't need solicitation. Get out. It's going to be hard. You're going to be dealing with other people's emotions. It's so hard enough to control our own emotions, yet now we have to deal with other people's emotions. And we're going to work with you to increase the chances. How we're doing that, we're going to force you. When we work with agencies, we're going to tell them, look, you need to go out this many times in a day, this many times in a week, in a month, in a year. So the more people that you, you surround yourself with, the more people that are going to have their emotions that if they don't have it in check, they may transfer it to you. If they had a bad day, they're going to transfer it to you. Okay? The next thing is, look, the number three, you're not sold on your home health. You don't believe in the services that you're offering. You don't think you have a great home health agency. You don't think you have great nurses. You believe that your programs are inadequate, that you should have more. So if you should have more, why don't you add it? Next thing is the incorrect estimation of effort. We forget that it takes a certain amount to be able to handle a certain level of things. Most people, I always compare this, they always want to be able to talk about, well, you know, I at least tried, or I'm going to try next time. Uh, it looks like I guess I should have worked harder, or maybe I'll go ahead and learn more a little bit. Maybe I'll take time to be able to start studying a little bit. Maybe I'll call Michael next week. You should have called me last week. So sometimes we have the incorrect estimation of efforts. Reach for the stars, and if you land in the moon, you still did a great job. If you only reach for the moon but never make it, you're stuck on limbo. And be reasonable. Number five is be reasonable. Be reasonable knowing enough that you need to train yourself. Be reasonable knowing enough that you are going to face problems. You are going to finally handle objections. You're going to find people that's going to reject you. And that goes to number six. When you get objections, when you get you know, these type of things, know how to handle it. They're only complaints until you can literally valid validify it that they are actually an objection. So handle them as complaints. Number seven, shortage of closing materials. Right now, I'm going to share with you guys a few of my closing techniques. We have a program where we share with you guys our 100 closing programs, our 100 closing techniques and scripts. And with that, also, we have our 44, you know, our top 40 closing tips. So you're going to get 40 closing tips plus another 100 closing scripts. That's our advanced program when it comes to closing. Well, I'm going to share with you some of the most important information in there that I feel is valuable and you should actually take advantage of. And lastly, you are talking to the wrong person. Right? You're not talking to the one that actually makes a decision on referring patients. You're actually talking to a pediatric patient and you're dealing with seniors. I mean, a pediatric doctor, and you're dealing with seniors. Okay? So you have to understand, you have to have the right person in front of you when you're presenting. If you did not qualify the person, if the person is not the right person, if they don't have referrals to give, then, of course, you're not going to get any referrals. So all these eight things are put together, and you must be able to have all of this to guarantee a close. If even just one of these are missing, you are not going to be able to close a person, to be able to close and get those referrals. When you're presenting, you need to be able to understand that you should always communicate clearly. When you're talking to people, you know, have that eye contact. Show them that you're interesting. Show them that you're interested so that you can, be look, you can look like you're interesting. Always have a pen available for signing. Always have a pen available in case they need to write something. If you're non-medical and trying to get them to sign a contract, you want a pen there. And in fact, go ahead and invest on a beautiful pen. 
on a pretty cool looking pen. It makes it stand out. It makes it memorable. Once again, always ask for a close all throughout. Minimum of five closing presentations, closing techniques, closing scripts used in there. Everyone you present to must be treated well. You must go in here with a positive attitude because if you go in here with a negative attitude, let's say you had a bad presentation, the physician before that you went to this appointment. That may transfer towards this person. You need to check all that in the door. You need to be able to understand you have to have the clarity of knowing that each person is different and you should always treat the person the way you want to be treated. And if you abuse the other person, if you, you know, if you don't look at the best interest for that particular person, then what type of person are you? You must treat the person like you want to be treated. Smile on anything. Never, ever disagree. Okay? Never, ever disagree. Always agree with the person. Smile on anything. Even if you disagree on it. Say yes on every objection or anything. Yep, yes, we'll do it. Yes, we can handle it. Yes, you're right. That goes with the whole agreeing method. Always look for a solution. What solutions can you provide them? What problems can you find out that they're having? And when you can find out what the problems that they're having, you create the solution that makes you stand out. Always, always, always look for a solution. And remember, when it's closing, it's never going to be successful until you get the referral, until you get that patient. Until you can get that referral, until you can get that patient, that's the only way that you know what? That you are successful, that you have the business, that they are going to actually start referring patients to you. So understand that it is only a successful close if you guys actually get a patient referral.